doing a little bit of a different retro segment today. So, we're going to check out a Sega game. What's this? On a console that a lot of us may not have had. Unless you're in Europe. Um, this console was big in Europe. Did not do well in America. Did pretty good in Australia as well. This is the, uh, the Master System. It's a Sega console. It was before the Genesis or the Mega Drive. So I'm playing since there is a new game that's come out in the series. I'm playing Mickey Mouse's Castle of Illusion. Or Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. It's a game that... This was my first time I played a Sega console as a kid. This is what I remember. This game in particular. Not Sonic. But this. Alright, let me see if I can use the Master System control. Um, anyway. <laughs> it took a while to get to this point. I had to go get a Genesis controller because the menu system on this does not work with a Master System controller. Not Alex Kid, no. Practice? Normal. This controller feels so weird. It's like a bootleg NES controller. You must find the seven gems of the rainbow. They will give you the power to overcome Miserable. But be careful, the gems are protected by the Masters of Illusion. Sega games are something that I've always wanted to check out, and I didn't really know a good starting point. So this is the one, like, Master System cartridge that I feel like is worth a check out. Anyway. Oh, auto scroll! <laughs> Shit. Oh boy. You know, if you didn't have Mario... Oh man, this is hard. It's just not used to the D-pad. Muscle memory is not... Does he not have attacks? I don't remember this. Oh, I, I just remember the game vaguely, but I, I... If you were to ask me, like, how to play it, I wouldn't be able to tell you, chat. Okay, there we go, you pick up. Pick, pick, pick it up! Pick it up! Pick it up! <laughs> Hurry up! Oh, man. Yeah, uh, once again, I'm gonna destroy someone's childhood, because they would have played this, loved it, and I'm just not doing it justice by playing the way I am. It's okay. But the Master System was, was a little, uh, interesting, because... I mean, visually... I thought that was a platform. Visually, it seems to have more color than what the NES did. Which is strange, right? I already have a game over. I might use the Mega Drive controller, we'll see. If this is going terribly with this one. But I'm using the authentic uh, Master System controller. I think what I don't like about it, the D-pad. It has like these these grooves on it. I don't know how I don't know how to explain it without showing a picture. Hang on, I'll show a picture. Master System controller. What's it? Uh, that's, that's a good, that's a good enough image. Oh, I love this. Do you know when you go to a site and you want to get a PNG of an image and then it just gives you a JPEG? That just happened. Anyway, um, this is what the controller looks like. So, do you know, the D-pad, compare that to what I'm used to typically, it, it just feels a bit awkward. And those grooves, they kind of hurt the thumbs a little. <laughs> so... That's what I'm dealing with. I'm just trying to get used to how it feels. 
we'll see. I'll do my best, if not, I'll swap to the Genesis controller, which I can I can deal with. So all I remember about this game was like, oh wow, it's Mickey Mouse and he's in a game. This is so cool. Um, this series, they took it to the Genesis, like they ported this over. And then, believe it or not, like a few weeks ago, they released a, uh, a new game in the series and apparently it's really good. I forgot what it's called. It's like still under the illusion moniker, but like it has Donald Duck, Goofy, and Minnie in it as well. And you play as four characters. <laughs> Am I just not going to achieve any goals here? Okay, whatever. Look, I, I wanted to try this out. Then you can't say I've never played a Sega game. Oh no, good. Res re yep, it just enemy respawns instantly. Challenge the player. I don't know. I'll play this for a while. I, I do want to try and make some effort to finish it. However, if, it, if the situation is that dire, we will do something retro still. I mean, I did get the suggestion of Super Mario World and I was like, very t here's what happened. I was going to play Super Mario World. I was very tempted and then I saw, oh wait. I have that console that plays Sega games, and I just haven't done anything with it. Let me see what I have. Oh, this game. I remember this game as a kid. Yeah, let me try and play this game properly for the first time in like, I don't know, 20 something years. <laughs> Having no muscle memory or knowledge of the game. Yeah, let's see how that goes. What is, what is this abomination here? <laughs> Okay. Good. <laughs> uh... I've gotten more used to the D-pad. Oh, that's level design. What? <laughs> what? How <laughs> could <the> what? <laughs> How did it jump? Th Ugh. I can't believe it jumped that high. Get good. Hey, pick it up. I don't know if my button press or what, but like the picking up isn't as fluid as as I would like it to be. 
<laughs> this respawning mechanic. Okay. Go away! Pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> I want to know who this was made by. Because I'll tell you right now, like, a game that I've always heard good things about that I've never played is DuckTales. And that's considered, like, very good Disney game. Same with, uh... What was the other one? They, I think they did... Uh, was it Rescue Rangers? I can't remember. But I know Capcom did DuckTales. And on the Super Nintendo, they had that Donald Duck game that I'm, like, a huge fan of. Oh, there's a pound ability. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I'm figuring it out as I go. We've not hit stage two prowess. That just seems cruel, like... Oh! I just realized what this is. This is like the pogo stick. Okay, okay, I'm with her now, I'm with her now. Pogo mechanic. Stop! Oh. <laughs> you get eight continues. No, let's just let's just start a new game. I don't want to waste the continues this early. Why didn't you do practice, huh? If you would have done practice, you would have maybe learnt the moves. Okay. Yeah, now I got this. Alright, now, now we're good. Okay, now this is much better. I can get with a down stab. Okay. I, d I just don't think throwing is good. Wait, can't break that? Apparently not. I'd be so angry if that was death. Please tell me it lets me continue from that point. Okay, it's a checkpoint, we're fine. Oh man, the platforming in this. 
I'm just not used to the D-pad. I'm not saying it's bad. <laughs> just distance judging. An apple. I'm like a baby animal taking their first steps. Okay. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did this just become Mega Man? <laughs> Holy crap. I, why don't I remember this? And suddenly it became Mega Man. I got this, I got this. See, at, at this point, I shouldn't continue until I finish one stage. That's what we're looking at. The one thing that you gotta appreciate about Sega is like the backwards compatibility from their consoles. Just insane levels of it. I'm resetting. <laughs> like at this point, just don't don't take the continue. Let's see just what practice does. Wait, practice is the s what? Practice is the same. What's the difference between? What? I'm so is is practice does in do they mean easy instead of practice? I think that's what they mean. I thought it was going to be like a training mode, but I think it's just the same thing, just to, the health pickups are more. Like instead of a slice of cake, I get a whole cake there. Taking this path again, this path was good. Expected like a ground pound. I mean, Scrooge McDuck has the cane, I guess Mickey has his ass. Uh, 
feel like I've grown a bit as a player. Like, the first few minutes of this, admittedly, were a, a disaster. But I think I'm getting there. Ah, oh, this that was bad. Damn it. I'm just trying too hard to cheese it, that's the problem I'm having. Instead of fighting this thing the intended way. <laughs> Alright, there, I finished the stage. Look at that. Okay, give me a sec. I just want to put my T in a spot where I can reach it. I think, honestly, the whole thing is just acclimation to the controller. <laughs> it's surely what it is, but I get it now. Alright, stage two. And you can do this in a non-linear way, I guess. Very interesting choice going right to left. It's either toxic or I can jump on it. <laughs> There's no in between. Oh. I got this. Oh shit, you can't. <gasps> oh, they respawn. I mean, of course they do. I don't think I can get to that easily. I'm just gonna keep going. It probably has cake. Ooh. Oh, nice! Health increase. Damn. That means the first stage probably had that too. Confirm not toxic. Ooh, this enemy. Stop. I hope this is correct. Yep. I mean, I dig this. This is like, it's weird, weirdly like almost like Ducktales in some ways, but then it's also got some Mario Two <laughs> elements to it and Mega Man. I mean, the ladder climbing just straight up reminds me of Mega Man. Oh, 
kind of wild to think, though, like... Sega had... I mean, I, I guess maybe the NES did as well, I'm not sure. I know the NES had Looney Tunes on it, but I'm not sure they had Disney necessarily, and the fact that Sega had Disney stuff, and yet... This console just did not do well in America. I mean, it did alright in the UK and Australia. And Europe as well. If I just messed this up, I may have. From what I've heard, like, this console goes hard in Brazil for some reason. Just availability and games are still being made for it. Despite how old it is. Like, they bought games to this thing, like D-Makes. Which is kind of crazy to think. But I mean, we've gotten a lot of that lately, honestly. There's a bunch of... There's a whole scene dedicated to making games for older hardware. Like, you got new Super Nintendo games, Genesis games, Game Boy games. Just being developed still. I don't know, there's just something about these older consoles that's just a charm to it, you know? At least for me. definitely left the struggle bus now. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a lot better. Like, actually competently. I wonder how many people, like, if they watch this later, are just gonna get put off by the first few minutes of me just, like, playing like I've never played a game before, you know? It'd be the equivalent of if you played Mario Brothers 1, and then you just died to Goomba in 1-1. That's more or less what was happening. Which, I, I told the story once, but I went to a friend's house, um, and they got a Wii. And they purchased a bunch of games on the Virtual Console, Mario 1 being one of them. And their dad, who wasn't really into games, um, decided to play Mario 1 for the first time. And just seeing that... Oh, man. It's just was not holding the run button, was walking very slowly, like, very cautiously, and then died to the Goomba in 1-1. Oh, that is... Poor guy. I mean, he was having fun, but... Yeah. It, it did not go well. Did not get very far in Mario 1. I just got another one up. Assuming that's what the mouse is, do. Oh shit! <laughs> Alright, that was dumb. I thought I could bounce off it still. My bad. Would that still be there? Hang on, let's see. Because if that's still there... No! Oh, crap. <laughs> Sorry, use, use the screen. No, it doesn't respawn it. Damn it. That's, that did me dirty. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that was waiting off screen? It, 
It has to be the clown level, always. The circus or the clown level. Just, I've had this long history when I play games, just the circus and clown level is the one that just gives me the most grief. Again? Ugh. It's the D-pad. I blame D-pad. Oh my god. Alright. Yeah! Ha <laughs> <laughs> oh ha! Play the Mickey Mouse game! Yeah! Ha oh ha! Have some fun! Relive childhood memories! Unlock those memories you lost! Hey, remember when you saw this for the first time? Haha! -ha. Made you love video games! <laughs> Fucking bootleg Mickey Mouse voice. I can't do it. Pick it up. Thank you. Oh yeah, the chests are just one-offs, okay. That'd be too lenient. This jump... Man. This is some evil shit right here. Like, not knowing that that's there, and then just having to pull that maneuver. to push it. I don't think I can move it now. Ooh, that's annoying. Okay, I see. There we go. Oh, thank you. Oh, that was desperately needed. I don't have... I need key. I don't have key! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, other ladder, other ladder. You can respawn the enemies, yes. The sad thing is I'm probably going to get a game over. Like, unless I get the boss first try. But, this time it's worth continuing. The iframes are non-existent. Hmm. I think if, if like, we take it one game over per world... I, I got this. I can do this. <laughs> I bet this wasn't something that... You expected. Like honestly, on the list of things you expected me to play, this probably was not anywhere remotely close to being on the list. It's not here this time. Yeah, that's fine. Good 
good. All that health loss. Once I got past the initial, like, oh, I'm not playing the NES. <laughs> That's pretty much all it was, just... Because the controller is shaped like an NES controller, and it's roughly the same size, so there was a little bit of a disconnect at the start where I was like, what? What is this? This feels so alien-like. But I'm, I'm past that now. Damn it. Okay, one thing I'm not a fan of is, like, it blinks Mickey, like, as if there's iframes. There are no iframes. It's a lie. There are no iframes at all. Good. It's alright. That's why that cake is there. Oh, that was stupid. I got I gotta stop playing this like I'm playing Mega Man. It's it's gotten me killed more than a couple times. That's what I would do in Mega Man is just fall down the ladders like that confidence. Oh, I'll be fine if I drop. No. Just please climb down the ladder. Or just fall down it like this. That's probably I think the compromise I should take. Dude. This D-pad is so inaccurate. Sometimes I press down, and because it has diagonals, like, it registers the diagonal. <sighs> I bet in certain games it would be nice to have the diagonal, but, like, right now... Once again, I'm gonna have one life when I get lost. Yeah, that, see that? See that? I pressed down and it turned left. There we go. I just have to be twice as sure that I'm pressing the right input. I was on the edge of it. Oh, 
Ach, das ist Sarkast. Okay. Ach. I got a fair, I got a fair shot as the bo at the boss. Ooh, come on, we can do this. We can do this. There it is. Success. That's two gems. Alright, door number three. So, yeah, I I went to... S <laughs> Damn it. D-pad. If you see me crouching, that's, that's a D-pad issue right there. Can't go too fast either. I think the stage is the one that's gonna take the longest. Challenge the player. You played Mario 3 when you were a kid. You should be good at oral scrolling stages. Spam for your life. Uh oh, I fucked up. <laughs> that well, I didn't know that platform was supposed to move like that, so okay. Too quickly. Ugh, that sucks. Like I have to stay at a certain distance behind distance behind or it just doesn't work. Choose to live. Okay. Oh, I thought that was going to be a positive thing. trying to be clever. Should have just gone. Don't be clever. Oh no. 
I have to bounce off that thing. Oh! Oh wait, no, no, no. Oh, okay, I can swim in this. Okay, that's fine. Um, alright. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought that was death. That's a little more forgiving. Crap. <laughs> Be prepared or die. This thing is so annoying. Haha, -ha, despawn. Cake, cake, nice. Good. Oh no. There's no run. I can't e What is this design? Okay, just wait for it. I can't run past it. I'm being super careful here. One up? No one up. That would have been nice. <laughs> I can't drop back down. Okay, well. Can't say I didn't try. Oh shit, it's like chocolate. Wait, oh no. Are you kidding me? This is... <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh no! This is yellow devil, but like chocolate? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> This is... I was not expecting a yellow devil fight. Holy crap. For those that don't know, that's like an infamous Mega Man fight in Mega Man 1. It's so hard and just <laughs> very frustrating. As soon as I saw it moving like that, oh no. Oh, this is gonna... This is gonna be a process to finish. I, I don't think I even damaged it once. I can't believe they put a yellow devil. Mental. Just, just leave it. Survive. Live today. Oh, crap. That low ceiling. It's a little cheap.
Oh, this has gone much better. I mean, even that one death. Much better. I am getting the hang of this more. I can't believe I'm, go I'm gonna have to fight my way through, like, a basically yellow devil. Okay, well, get good, I guess. Still don't still don't understand, like this seems very cruel. There has to be an easier way to do this. That dodging is so specific. This is, this is just straight up taken from Mega Man. Oh my god. But the difference is I don't have a cheese. <laughs> There's no cheese strategy in this. I have to actually do this. I mean, okay, the quake is not the same, but you know. In spirit, this is just like, ugh. Good. Oh my god. I'm not even sure I'm damaging. I think the strategy is to dock most of the time. Let's see. This might take a couple of attempts. Okay, position. The problem is the movements are... Ugh. I, I know I sound like I'm making up excuses, but... It's just... D-pad... Problems! <laughs> Give me a sec. Two things. One, I want to finish my tea, but also... Let me put this... Aside for a minute. Pulling out the Mega Drive controller. Okay, let's see how this feels. Oh no, this. Oh, this. This might be superior. Hold on. Oh my god. On the Mega Drive controller, ground pound is a dedicated button. Oh, this is so much better. Because before you had to hold down and then press B. Or button 2, whatever, whatever. Like, this has a dedicated pound button. And yeah, this is way more precise. Okay, I got it. Oh 
Oh my god, even this jump was easier to do. I fucked up, but like... Okay, I'm finishing my tea. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> okay, now I'm finishing my tea. I wonder how many people I'm confusing by saying Mega Drive. When I say Mega Drive, I mean Genesis. It's the Genesis controller, Americans. Just, the rest of the world called it the Mega Drive. You guys just had to be different. The Jenna Drive, there you go. The Mega Sis. Consider this practice for when I inevitably have to play Sonic the Hedgehog. I will say I like this controller. Oh, this feels so much better than the Master System's mess. It is like night and day like you would not believe. fact that I have a button <laughs> to do the pound ability. Pogo is now like just a button. That's so good. It's the six button controller as well, so like, I'm prepared for anything. more fluid this is. Look at that. First try without any struggle. The boss is still going to be suffering. To the point where I may have to look up the strategy to beat it. Ugh. Like, there, there might be a specific spot I can stand in. I know that most of the- most of the, uh, the moves seem to be dodged by Crouch. But I was just not having any precision with that controller. Wow, this boss. The thing is, I'm not positive I'm even damaging it, like... Much like the Yellow Devil fight, this is the War of Attrition. It's way too quick. It gives you almost no time to react. Oh yeah, and the lack of iframes as well, that doesn't help. Really, nothing. No, that's just that's it. You just have to dodge. <laughs> God. 
I may have hit a brick wall here, chat. Like, to the point where I'll have to do this level first, if I do enough game overs. Mega Man seemed to sell well. Let's take that fight, but chocolate. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, but that was honestly a much better attempt. That felt like I was playing properly. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Castle of Illusion. Chocolate fight. Apparently someone did this no damage. Holy shit. Chocolate bar, this is what I want to see. Alright, I'm watching someone do this. Oh, that's some cheap shit. <laughs> oh my god, that's some cheap shit. It's still not- it's still not a good fight, but like... Okay. Hold on, I'm just watching the rest of it. Oh my god, this chocolate fight. <laughs> okay. There's, there's a cheese strategy. It's not a guaranteed win, but at least it helps better the situation. It's still Yellow Devil at the end of the day, it's just I have to get good at it. the gameplay. This is a person who's played Mario Mega Man. <laughs> or just... I would not be able to quantify how many hours I've sunk into those games, and yet here... Alright, admittedly since starting to use the Genesis controller, it, it's gone a lot better. The, the D-pad alone is, is straight up just superior, but not just that, the buttons. Like, I can do a light jump very easily, whereas in on the Master System controller, it was like all or nothing, pretty much. I couldn't do, like, a, a light jump. But I could do without that. Ugh. dedicated button for pound this is like the best quality of life right now for me <laughs> 
so, so <laughs> I just realized, like, this is the earliest form of Pro Controller situation. Like, this, this is the Pro Controller. The Genesis Controller is the Pro Controller. For these games. But I mean with significant upgrade. Cheese for this is unbelievably. Look at this. And then they just did that, and I was like, what the? No! It's like, again. Look at this! I don't think it's even a cheese, I think this is how you're supposed to do it. And then they just started to show off, like, dodging the pattern anyway. But they showed this at the start, like, hey, noobs, if, if you're struggling, this is what you can do. <laughs> See, this seems way more fair now. It's only when the face is in the chocolate that it... Oh, I need to hit the face directly, okay. It's only when the face is active, that's when you take damage. But otherwise the chocolate is uh, not deadly. Oh god, impatient. It's alright. There we go. Oops. If only Yellow Devil had this sort of bail, you know? Now I appreciate this more, because this is a better yellow devil. <laughs> okay, that was my own dad. As long as I don't miss, I got this. This is like... You know this is the sort of thing that, that would appear in a strategy guide. In a magazine somewhere. Just like, Ah, you're struggling with the chocolate boss in the Mickey Mouse game? Don't worry, bro, I got you covered. This is like playground. It's just... Uh, hold on. Is it dead? It's dead. <laughs> playground stuff. We go. Okay. 
we are now, I guess, in arts and crafts. There's a way to go that way. All right. I always have concerns when the music sounds a little too carnival-like. I'm not doing that to be funny, I was genuinely like, hey! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh shit, I fucked up. <laughs> that was not smart. Ah, oh, Not even a checkpoint. Haha! <laughs> Should've gone to the right! I'm not going to find out. The cake is gone now as well. Okay, that's cool. This is the sort of stuff that you just won't see on... on the Switch's online service, you know? Stop, hang on, go down. Wait, how- oh, that's no, like this. Yep, and then... Now nah, I can do this. I see, smart. Almost knocked me into the abyss. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Okay, well. 
in a lot of ways, this, this is giving me the vibes of just how difficult Mega Man 1 felt at times. Exact same, like, stress. I commend them, it's, it's good. Dirty. <sighs> Not knowing which one is going to drop and hurt you. I can't even go back over it for fun. Oh, that was... yeah. Good. <laughs> very, very good! Just fighting the A letters is just... it's a liability. There's, don't do it. position as before. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. How many continues do I have left? Four. Okay. I mean, it looks like there's two doors left, so it's the same's doable. Hey! <laughs> oh my god. Please be cake. It's cake. out. <laughs> See, this is the intelligent thing to do. Instead of what I did last time. Oh, hello. I like the fantasy of this, though.
Oh, oh, oh skill. It's not going to get old anytime soon. Can I be as careful as I can be? <laughs> This one's a fake. I'm not convinced I need this for anything, but I'll bring it. I guess to take out the A. There we go. But now there's tiny A's. Okay. Please be cake. It's not. Oh, thank you. Oh, I needed that. I messed this up already. I gotta go back. Thankfully it respawns. Okay, boss time. Book. B. Hey! Oh, that's fine. Oh, this is fine, yeah. Huge difference between the last boss fight and this one. problems here. Okay. Ooh, very industrial. Now this, to me, feels like a Mega Man stage. Holy crap. <laughs> oh no. It's a cl uh, I, we're, we're getting everything in this. Clown stage, yellow devil, and now a clock tower. like a ladder. <laughs> Shit. I got done dirty. Way. Oh. No! I panicked. That was a panic jump.
just let it go, it's fine. Okay, I just have to be more patient with this. There we go. Crap. Go on. I would bet that that leads to the gem. Better than, better than a gem. Permanent health upgrade, let's go. It's gonna be huge help. I tried. If you didn't have Mega Man on a Sega console, like this is not this is not a bad substitute. I know they released remakes of one to three, but I don't think that was a worldwide release. Also, what is this? What is this? What is what is this garbage right here? Oh, no, I see, I see. Hold on. I'm being an idiot. There we go. <laughs> oh, no, no, yep. Okay, maybe this is still garbage. Oh, this is horrible. Hold on. Okay, no respawn. Ooh, that part sucked. Cake? Cake, thank you. Uh, okay, there we go. Not... Not a leap of faith. I'll wait it out. Time is uh, running out. I need to hurry up. I seem to forget that these stages are timed. Thank you. Hopefully we're close to the bottom. Oh, not this again. Those things move way too quickly. Ah, oh, that would have been a heal. Well, I wasn't going to get that first try. Let me see. Can't jump that way. Okay, there it is. It's a swing. Got it.
I love how much this reminds me of Mega Man, though. Maybe that's why the game, like, just left an impression on me. Again, I don't remember anything of this game. I just remember playing it once when I was very young. And I just, I remember it. And it's probably because it just reminded me a lot of Mega Man. That might be why it left that impression. I mean, you know, looking at it, it, it's more closer aligned to DuckTales than Mega Man, but, you know. DuckTales was made by Capcom, which, <laughs> yes. A lot of similarities. Okay. This is it. like a dry bones type enemy. Uh oh. Hold on. I'm gonna get rid of the spider before I... It just despawned up. Okay, that's back. Ooh, this mechanic. All right, we got we got quick man stage now. It's a mimic. <laughs> I was not the oh, oh no. Bail, bail. Gonna die. Gonna die. I don't think I can kill it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Nick. Though. Surprise, motherfucker. Yeah, it almost got me, I know. <laughs> oh, okay, it's fine. Now I can't trust anymore. Spider's just waiting to... Okay. No! Shit! <laughs> oh no. No! My key! I gotta go back, it's fine. Hey, Galeron, how's it going? Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> Okay. Tal's Luke, and Luke was good. Caught up with a friend and just been lazing about, to be honest. I finished Final Fantasy yesterday as well. Shit! Ugh, I wasn't paying attention, that's my bad. It was only, like, an hour and 20 minutes remaining, so... But yeah, it's over. What game is this? This is... Castle of Illusion. 
It's a game on... I'm playing the Sega Master System version. But it was also on the Genesis. But this is the version that I distinctly remember leaving an impression. I don't remember much of it. But like... It has Mega Man vibes to it. But the closest game you can compare it to is, um, DuckTales. <laughs> Darkwing Duck was the other game that Capcom made, now I remember. The two good Disney games for the NES was, uh, DuckTales and Darkwing Duck. It's like... Trying to remember which were the good games. So this is this was Sega's competitor to the NES. Uh, it didn't do well in America, but it did pretty good in Europe and Australia. So I'm using the Genesis controller because I tried using the controller intended for this console, and it was just uh, yeah, it was not going well for me. Since swapping to the Genesis controller, oh, this has just been much better. But hey, I'm playing a Sega game. <laughs> Do I have a lot of Sega games? I have a couple, but they're not exactly hard to find. Oh, I just fucked up. What was cool about the Sega games was they came in plastic cases instead of cardboard boxes, so... Most of the ones you find... They're still in pretty good condition. And because, well, specifically the Master System, it's kind of underrated. So, the games aren't too expensive. Do I have the Lion King? No. Oh. Ugh. Okay, I see. Don't have many games for it, but Oh that's an auto scroller. Wait, what? What? Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. I've never seen an auto-scroller do that before. Like, force you to wait and then have the... the scrolling push you along. Oh, I fucked up. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, that was so ballsy. <laughs> Maximum balls. First try. Do you remember the Aladdin game for the Sega? There was a cheat code to skip, and you skipped all the way to the end. I think- I can't remember which of the Disney games the Genesis version was just the harder. It was just stupidly hard compared to the Super Nintendo version. But one of those games was the case. I do want to play more Sega games, I just don't know where to start, really. And then of course I have to acquire them, but... I mean, granted, I could just play the stuff that's on Nintendo Switch Online. Or like, the numerous Sega collections that have been released over the years, but... There's stuff like this, for example, that just doesn't... 
get added to those collections. I think this is this game's like a little bit of a gem. It has its rough edges, sure, but like it's it's fun. There were a couple of times where I was like, oh, that was just straight up bullshit. But it fits the era from whence it comes from, you know? This was the era of deal with it. <laughs> it's just You gotta deal with it. The SNES version of the Lion King. Alright, so I got it the other way around. Got it. Mimic! <laughs> Climb. Oh my god, I'm so low on health. Please be health. Okay. No! Oh! 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 <laughs> Shit. New noise just dropped. <laughs> oh crap, I only got I only got 20 seconds to finish the stage. Shit, I'm screwed. Wait a minute, but like I'm I'm fucked. I'm just straight up fucked. I'm not gonna win. Go, 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 Oh, I'm dead. Okay, but now I get 500 seconds. I feel like that 500 seconds is not enough for this stage. The stage is long. originally gonna play Super Mario World, but then, yeah. I kind of saw this console and then thought to myself, I haven't done anything with this, let me do something with it. And so I picked something obscure in the hopes that it would be okay, and I think it's been okay. The, the first, I will admit, the first maybe five, ten minutes of this, oh, it was a disaster. <laughs> it's just straight up horrible gameplay on my part. Boss Rush? No, it's- oh no! Oh shit, it's a maze. Okay, it's worse. I had to get used to the controller, but I swapped controllers, like... The Master System controller, it's D-pad is weird and just janky. It just doesn't- <sighs> It's hard to explain, but like, it's- it's the shape of an NES controller, but then its D-pad has diagonals, and it's very easy to hit the diagonals. And then the actual buttons, like, one and two... The... Uh, what's the... Are the... Would they be too sensitive? I don't know. But, like, you can't do a very soft jump easily. That's... That would be my complaint with it. And then the moment I swapped to the Genesis controller, it was like night and day. D-pad is so good. And not just that, because... Um... So the Master System controller is only two buttons. Like an NES controller. On the Genesis controller... Mickey's attack is a dedicated button. Whereas in on the Master System, I would have to press, like, down and one. Which is... It's fine, but it's awkward. But having a dedicated button... Oh, man. Okay, middle door. Look, I've just been playing so much better because I can just... Pretty much... It's like the Pogo from DuckTales. Or like Downstab from... From Link's, uh, Adventure of Link. Zelda 2.
but having just a button just to press, ugh. That's already made me play a lot better since that point. It just, it just makes me think again, like, why are we reinventing the D-pad? The Super Nintendo D-pad and the Genesis D-pad are excellent. Like... What the fuck is this? Oh, okay. Whoa! I think I need this to get the extra height. I'm, I'm not gonna win this first time, clearly. But yeah, I mean, I, I think I still prefer the, any, the Super Nintendo D-pad. Just the size is a bit better, but the Genesis D-pad's still very good. And modern controllers, they should just keep using this D-pad. Okay, so is this going to be like, I have to get this right or it just doesn't work? Like, the first few seconds of the fight are the most important. Wow, this, I mean, this is the last boss, I would assume. So, it's fine if it's difficult. I don't mind. But like, it's almost like I have to... No. I'm not sure if I have to... If I have to use this to get height, or if I have to use it to... Okay. It should be right. Oof, this is nasty. Like, I can't- I can't get a good jump off here. I think I have to trick it. Yeah, that's- that's- ugh. Nah. Game over. I'm gonna have to do all this again- well, just the whole stage again. Let's see what the strategy for the dragon is. Okay. Throw. It's a throw. This is not a very long game. It's like... It is pretty much Mega Man in terms of equivalence, in terms of time. couple hours is what we're looking at, roughly, so... <laughs> I'm not falling for that again. stuck. Oh, dick. What 
the, the spider. I have I have to get rid of the spider. Otherwise, it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, put this down. Right, could be worse. I could be dead. All right, there we go. Don't even think about it. Okay, here comes the auto scroller. I can't believe I did the section first try. Cake? No. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cursed. <laughs> oh. Challenge the player. Good stuff. Alright, I'm back up to where I was. I'm gonna not win this first part because, well, I don't have health. So the first attempt at the boss is probably gonna be like, just, I guess just get there. This is this is fine, right? This one this one's fine. It's the next one that's the cursed chest. There's a lot to go through just to get a heal, but I guess it's worth it. The sound effect of the climbing just reminds me of, of Mario 2. I love it. <laughs> it's hitting nostalgia in all the right places. Alright. Try again. So that's what I'm supposed to do. This is just not an easy fight. Oh, okay. That's a very precise thing I need to do. Pretty? Yeah. I've, I like the game. Like it's... I think this is a gem. Damn it. Oh, ah! Oh. No, I'm fucked. 
I got one health and I gotta make the most of it. Okay. Be more patient, like I'm trying to rush this too much. There we go, that's how you do it. Got it. Uh, I think that was still a hit. I shouldn't have panicked. Yes! It's not over, apparently. Another one that's not going to be the first attempt. Please tell me I continue. Okay, good. I was going to say, if I have to do that dragon fight again and then do this, that's a rough, like, last fight. This is doable. It's like a weird game of Pong. Oh, no. I... No. Okay, I have to get it in the slack. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm like fighting DVD logos. Oh, that's so annoying. Fuck. Ooh, this is not as easy as it looks. Two. No! Oh, no. Ah! Damn it, game over. Okay, but... I've got a better feel for it now. I still have enough continues to get this done. That's... Alright, that's a good last fight, I think. Ugh, just gotta get better at it. It truly is a game that you just play, and then you get better at it. It's just would be nice if they added this sort of stuff to the... ...the online service, but I, I it's probably because it's just Disney. It's too difficult to license it.
But you know, if you want to play this yourself, I've heard there's ways to do so. spot it's not gonna work. I'm not gonna say what how. They give a shit much about a game from the 1990s, but you never know. And just to be clear, I'm playing a cartridge of this. Like, it's legit, it's a real copy. I have the box right next to me. I feel like <laughs> if Mickey had a slide ability, oh man, this would be good. I've just, I've never seen an auto scroller do that outside of like a fan made level. I can't believe I butchered that. One less attempt for the last boss, I guess. I'll say it again, like, visually the master system in some ways looks better than the NES. Just it seems to do more colors. I guess this is just consoles like Mega Man. <laughs> this console's Castlevania game, well, Castlevania like game that I heard about. Um, ugh, I've been wanting to try it, but it's hard to find a copy of it. It's called, I think, Master of Darkness. It looks pretty cool. What's the thing? Sega had to pump out titles to just be equivalents. There's a few Zelda equivalents as well. I mean, they had their own unique stuff as well, but just... I'm curious who made this game. Let me look at this box. Oh, this was actually produced by Sega. No shit. I just looked at the box.
Thank you. Alright, let's, let's get it. Get it done. Have to be patient. Ah, fucked up. I didn't jump correctly. Ooh, careful. Okay. Sometimes I grab, just I try to be quick about it, but not quick enough. Oh, I messed up. I went for it too soon. There we go. All right, first try. <laughs> it doesn't give me a full heal. Like, how cruel is that? Oh, challenge the plank! Oh, no. Jeez. Come on. How many hits? My epic gamer moment. Wait, it's even it's even got the apology from Mega Man. That's what Dr. Wily does at the end of Mega Man. <laughs> I like this game. That's not like a stab at it, like I'm not saying, oh how dare they do that. I actually really like that. That's a nod. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. A game that just I've had in my memory for the longest amount of time, but never actually played with a developed brain. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I, I got this. I found this at a flea market one day and I picked it up, so I was like, I remember, I remember seeing this when I was a little kid. Alright, well, cool. It's I think it's a cool game. Just... If you owned a Sega console, and you didn't have access to Mega Man, I think this would have been like a neat substitution. And the Disney games from the 90s and early 2000s, they're actually pretty decent. Bar a couple of exceptions, but most of them, like the ones developed by Capcom and um, Disney Interactive, and I guess Sega, yeah, they're good. So, alright. I doubt there's anything else to see. Let's just let's just watch the uh the end screen. Yeah.
<laughs> Is this one of these classic games that just... No, okay, there we go. That's it. Alright, that was a, uh, a quick playthrough of Castle of Illusion. Hope you enjoyed. Especially if you're watching later on YouTube. Thanks for sticking around to the end and consider clicking them buttons for the algorithm if you want to support the channel over here. Or maybe two other videos have popped up and you want to see me play something else. Hope you do. But until the next retro game. Bye YouTube.